Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome to the show, baby. Oh, man, I knew I would have to address this eventually. And it's because all you with the private messages and stuff like that saying, hey, are you going to address all this stuff between Marco and Black Dragon? And my answer simply is no. No. Whatever they got going on between each other is their business. What I'm doing here at Insane Throttle, I want to discuss all kinds of subjects, and you've been seeing it with the biker angle with Hollywood at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. I've been throwing extra ones in there as well. Very serious uh, stuff that I want to talk about with my content and the biker news as well. You have seen a lot of changes in it as far as throwing everything in there, like motorcycle events, the good stuff that's happening in the scene. And, you know, I browse over or cover a little bit of the other stuff with the MC scene. So I really am focused on doing my own thing. I do have a collaboration with Mike Ball on Monday nights, and you see we have another guest co-host or co-host on the BCAN podcast, and I think it went really well the last one. A lot of freaking discussion. We have a leftist point of view, a conservative point of view. I'm more down the middle. And then, of course, we have China now. So we have a lot of stuff going on than to get involved in all this stuff. Now, I can say that Marco's been going through a lot of BS with everybody. Uh, the attacks that he's endured, he's tried to really stay to himself and work on his content. So I can see where he's coming from, where he's being hit from all sides right now. But he'll he'll work that out because I remember I went through all that stuff. Hell, I still get it after all the, the these years where you're going to get that type of personal attacks on you and you just got to go through it. See, this is a tough business. It really is. You get a lot of haters. But my advice would be remember this is fantasy land. This ain't the real deal on the streets. This is fantasy land. A lot of stuff that people say here on the internet, I blow off. I don't care how stupid it is. I'll blow it off because it's just somebody jamming their gums, if you will. So when these two go at it, I'm not going to be involved in that. You know, I've talked to Black Dragon. I talked to Marco, of course, and they really do have visions for their channels where they want it to go. The ones that want to see it the most are the people that watch us. You, you know, everybody that follows me, follows him, follows Marco, I get that, and some people love stirring shit up. They really do. They love stirring the crap up. And that just goes with this business. It really does. Now, Marco is more on the TikTok wavelength where I'll just post there. I don't even read comments over on TikTok because it's such a cesspool over there of people that it ain't even worrying, you know, it's not even worth worrying about any, what any of them have to say. I really do care for those that watch me on YouTube because a lot of the times they have some important points that they want to put forward. And it's a good discussion, a good debate stuff. One thing about me is I like debates. I love them. You know, you get all sides out there and you're able to hopefully come to a median where 
you can agree to disagree. Something that this country doesn't have anymore. You can't agree to disagree anymore. You're either on one side or the other and screw everybody in the middle. And you're seeing a lot of that stuff where you're getting a lot of these biker channels are getting toxic now. They really are getting toxic because entertainment is what they're looking to do. And the more things get stupid, the more people that go back and forth and watch and all that type of stuff, you know, I'm a shock jock. You know, that's what I do over on Motorcycle Madhouse. You know, but when it comes to biker news, I take that pretty serious. And I have, uh, trust me, I have screwed up. I am the first one to admit I screw up when I'm doing this. But I always try to make that right. Always try to admit when I'm wrong. And more creators need to do that. Admit they're wrong especially when it's covering the news. See, I don't like the opinion segments in my biker news anymore. Again, I do that stuff on the biker angle where I'll cover my thoughts on some of what the stories were about, but I do not think that's helpful to the biker community to start freaking giving opinions out during a news segment that is supposed to be news, not your thoughts. And that's why you've seen a lot different platform out of me is exactly because of that. But I found it so interesting that people were going, Hey, Hollywood, what do you think? You know, my emails had blown up and I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is wrong with you people? I'm not getting involved in it. You know, years ago, I was involved in the argument with Sos. We were able to get our stuff together and move forward. I always cheer him on because I believe some kind of a creator from the MC scene needs to make it like these other ones. But it seems like we've lost touch with what we're doing. The only advice I can give them is do you, you know, work on your channels, work on your shows. You know, Marco, he has the number one uh, show in terrestrial uh, radio, regular old FM radio. He has the number one show. And as bikers, we should be proud that one of our own is number one in an industry like that. He has a lot to bring to the table, a lot of professionalism. He really does. And I'm not just saying that because he's a member of my club. I'm talking from a professional standpoint. He has a lot to bring to the table. Damn, number one, come on. You got to give some cred to that. A lot of us don't have that kind of rep, uh, rep uh, tongue tying here. <laughs> we don't have uh, our type of people in that kind of industry that can represent us where he can. And he's taking the time off to do this on the side for everybody. And when he's getting attacked, see, he's not used to getting attacked like this on social media at his other job. But now on, when you get into social media, it's a whole different ball game. You're going to get attacked. And everybody says, you know, haters make you famous. Well, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Because they watch more of your video than other people will that like you. It just comes with the business. A lot of people are going to say that they're going back and forth for clicks. I don't think that's true, uh, but a lot of people are going to say that. You know, the one thing, and I've said it over and over again, YouTube pays shit, man. YouTube pays crap. If you think a couple hundred bucks is worth it to go out there and you know act that way, some of these people that do it, and I'm not talking about these two. I'm talking about other ones. If you think a couple hundred bucks 
And that's about all you make on YouTube. You know, if you're one of the bigger creators, you might make a couple thousand, but that's it. I do this because I love it and I want to bring something that was from my past where in the 90s we had uh, Biker News from, you know, White Trash Networks. We had it from Biker News Network. That kind of stuff we brought to video and to audio. So I really don't have time for all the nonsense. They'll solve it the way they want to solve it. I'm not going to mediate. I don't need to get in the middle of anything. That's on them. They're both men. They can handle it themselves. But I do want to let you know, hey, you might want to give Marco a chance because he does know what the hell he's talking about as far as this profession is concerned. Hell, he even came out where he can live stream what he's doing behind the scenes at the radio station. Maybe you should check out his Facebook where he does that on Facebook Fridays. There is a lot of content out there that's good content without having to worry about all this damn drama. That's what it seems like it's been for the last couple months. You had a schmuck out there, AI, me and Marco about being in the club. Well, I'm damn fucking proud to be in my club. I do not care what anybody says. Just like others are proud of their club. I'm proud to be his club brother. What am I going to be, you know, disingenuous to you guys by saying that, uh, that I'm not? Come on. Get out of here with that. I'm proud of the club, proud of him. So we had this idiot go out there and think that was going to hurt me in some uh, manner. I have always been the first one to tell you that I don't believe in talking about my personal life. And that's part of my personal life. I also don't believe in putting my stuff all over the place. You know, that's one of the biggest thing I find on the uh, TikTok is the hypocrisy of a lot of these club guys. They're sitting there getting into the drama with their club colors on. It's like, wow, man, you have to have your club colors on to act like a freaking moron. And you wonder why this thing of ours is looking like a joke. I'm never going to freaking talk about the stuff that we do as a club. <laughs> Not going to do it. So if that's what you're looking for, you ain't getting that drama out of me. But he is part of the club I'm in. We're club brothers, and that's the way it works. Does he do stuff that is screwed up? Yeah. But he's just learning this platform. So I give him breathing space. You know, Monday nights, me and Mike Ball are going to be doing a show. We're going to collaborate right there. And again, he's going to do his own thing. We got him started. Now he's on his own to be able to do what he wants to do and put the content out that he wants to put out. Black Dragon's been around a long time, just like me. He will do his content as well. I got a lot of projects that I'm doing right now that I don't need all the drama because you guys might like it, but to me it gets boring real quick and it's just aggravating as hell because it takes away from the message. Now you'll have a lot of guys again on TikTok in their club colors, by the way, that bitch about biker news, but they're the same ones that are watching us behind the scene. But they thought they just want it to be cool. Well, you know, you shouldn't be talking about clubs. It's already out in the public. But you're telling me not to talk about club business, but you're in your damn colors talking about people, talking about subjects. When you're in your colors, you do represent your club, you know, right? Everything you're saying, people think, comes out of your club because you are in those club colors. 
the AI thing, I think it's beat to death. Like I told them, you know what? We're close to finding everything out. We have an idea who it is, but we're going to get 100% because the lawyers and it gets something, you know, you think really that we, I don't have a lawyer on retainer <laughs> to go after people or defend stuff. Well, I'm going for everything they got. If they try that shit with me, I'm going after everything. And it's real easy. Once you put it on the internet, no matter if you delete it or not, it's always on the server. I don't think a lot of these people understand because I know Black Dragon was doing his stuff and they took it down while he was on air. It's still there. They still know who you are. If you give a fake name, your IP, everything is linked to what you sign into. They know, and it can be subpoenaed. But there are a lot of ignorant people out there. Hell, you got one guy that goes around talking smack that is actually an ex-guy from us, our club, and everybody laughs at him. His opinion don't matter to nobody, but he thinks he can go out on the internet and bash everything. And that's one thing I was going to start doing is putting pictures up of people that are out bad talking shit because clubs can't do it, but my platform can. That's news right there. That's news because sometimes, you know, clubs don't freaking talk to each other. So they start taking out bads from other clubs and they don't know the real situation. It used to be where clubs talk to each other, but it don't happen like that anymore. So those are my, uh, just some of my thoughts on all this that is going on. I say to everybody, do your thing. If you don't want to collaborate with others, even better for you, because then you got the creativity to do what you want to do. If you're going to keep going back and forth doing your thing, hey, that's on you guys. If you guys want to argue all that stuff, but there's no way I'm mediating everything like these people are asking in the comment sections of these videos. I'm not doing it because. I got to do me. I got to put out the good content that I want to put out. I have really changed biker news to presenting the good, the events, and the ugly. And then doing a separate segment on my thoughts on what's going on. I've been talking about how the government in these biker angles have really, really, started messing with MCs and then you got morons out there that actually agree with the government because it's a club. Most of the time, the people that talk shit about clubs are the ones that are either out and they're pissed off with their former club or they were never able to get in one. Those are the two type of people that you're going to see talking crap about MCs. But for them to go and agree with the government about domestic terrorism or the profiling, you're kidding me. That right there is the most ignorant thing I have ever seen. Bikers agreeing with freaking cops and the government. That's where I just put them into the motorcycle enthusiast category and the citizen category is that when they talk stupid like that. Anyway, that is my thoughts. Uh, you know, like I said, those guys work that stuff out on their own. Uh, they don't want to collaborate anymore. That's cool. You know, it's on them. It's their platforms, man. I'm not here to run anybody else's platforms but my own anyway talk to you later don't forget monday through friday 8 a.m central is or 8 15 uh central is over on the madhouse radio show on youtube you hear me in china now live and then Beat can is at 9 20 a.m 
on Fridays and of course 7 p.m. Central Standard Time Mondays with me and Mike Ball. Rock and roll, baby. Everybody have a good one and uh, we'll talk to you later. Well, is an in-depth look at the trials and tribulations of street gang and motorcycle club life. This isn't the run-of-the-mill book that doesn't get the goods. This book will go into detail of events that actually happen. All materials in this book have been approved by those involved. There is nothing poetic, nor is there any price worth paying for the life we choose to live on the streets. James Hollywood Machikari, Brotherhood and Betrayal. Join the Insane Throttle Members Only Club on YouTube or Spotify and receive exclusive content Monday through Friday at 9.20 a.m. Central Standard Time. Your membership in the Throttle Club helps keep the show going strong. Introducing the all-new service from Insane Throttle Motorcycle Madhouse Radio. 24-7 and nothing but the best in 80s till today. Rock and metal, baby. And here's an added bonus. You can now listen to Motorcycle Madhouse Morning Show with Hollywood and China now live on the air. Go to MotorcycleMadhouse.com and bookmark the radio station and get down with the king of biker radio. I say goodbye, vamos, adios, ciao, so long, get your hat jack. Number one internet biker radio show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away.